morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday to you guys. Pray you received, <clears throat> excuse me, sweet sleep and woke up with bells and whistles on this morning. Hey, Harvey Doris, Harvey Carolyn. Hey, Heartbeat Mary, thank you so much. Hey, Heartbeat Eva, Heartbeat Elaine, and Heartbeat Donald, Heartbeat Bernice, Heartbeat Yolanda, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Aaliyah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Melodia, good morning, good morning, good morning. Wherever you are, come on and let's give God a praise. He deserves our praise. He deserves our hallelujah. He deserves for us to join in with the angels to sing, holy, holy, holy is our God, God almighty, glory to God. Welcome to the gathering of hearts this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of yesterday, find the blessing part two. Find the blessing part two. And on this morning, we're going to kind of like go over what we went over yesterday. You know, sometimes we can have circumstances, situations in our lives, and it appears, keyword, appears that God has forsaken us, that God has forgotten about us. But if we would just tap into the spirit, we'll find that God has not forgotten us, that sometimes we just got to find the blessing. And when we learn to trust God, it is in that trust, it is in that belief that we find the blessing. When we recognize what Deuteronomy 28 tells us that we are blessed, that we um, are blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field, that every where we go, everything our hand touch is blessed. And so when you understand that you are blessed, sometimes circumstances and situations will make you doubt that and you have to find the blessing. Let's look at uh, um, Jeremiah 17. And here the context is when you trust in the Lord, you can find the blessing. Um, 17, seven says this, and I am, uh, what am I reading? Amplified. It says this, blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. We have to remember this, that the spirit is always trusting. It is your flesh that is not. I'm going to say that again. The spirit is always trusting. It is your flesh that is not. It is your flesh that will cause unbelief. It is your flesh that will cause doubt. Verse 8 says it like this, and this is where we're going to concentrate on verse 8. And I'm going to read it out of the easy reading version. And it says this, they will be strong like trees planted near a stream that sends out roots to the water. They have nothing to fear when the days get hot. And here we have that because trust is in the Lord, because faith is in the Lord, because that is where my hope is, as the um, Amplified says, confident expectation in the Lord, I'm able to be rooted. And so it says that... Um, Trees planted near a stream that send out roots to the water. There's stability in trusting. There's stability in knowing that God is going to answer my prayer. Um, they have nothing to fear. You know, fear is the opposite of faith. I like to say that faith is seeing past my now. And when I trust God, when I believe in God, I can see past my now. I'm not looking at what's going on around me. I'm not looking at, you know, what's happening right now, but I can see past right now. It's like um, having imagination like a child does. You know, you can um, walk past a room and you can hear a child talking and you'll be like, what are you, who are you talking to? Because you know, there's no one there. And they'll say, it's my imaginary friend. Like they've gone somewhere else. They're not in the present. They've gone all the way into the future and that is what faith is faith says i'm not going to go by what i see right now i'm not going to allow my emotions to cause me to make a response based on what i see but i'm going to let the spirit man control me and i'm going on ahead of this situation 
I'm going to see past my now. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to see past my now. I'm going to find the blessing in this situation, understanding who God is and who he is in my life. And so I'm going on ahead because his word tells me that he's already gone before me, that there is no need to fear. That's what it says. Do not be afraid for I've already gone before you. And so when I see past my now, when I jump in faith, when I I find the blessing, I see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, that there is a rainbow with a pot of gold at the end of the tunnel because I'm seeing past my now. It then says this, it says they have nothing to fear when the days get hot. So it doesn't matter what comes. It doesn't matter what goes. It does not matter how hot the kitchen gets. It does not matter because I'm rooted. I have strong stability, a strong stance that when it gets hot, my days are still cool. Glory to God. Because I see past my now. I see the coolness in the evening. I see the coolness of the day. I see past my now. And that has been my definition of faith probably since somewhere like 2015, 2016. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I just wrapped that up and said, oh, that's seeing past my now. I'm not going to look at what's going on right in front of me, but I'm going to see past my now. Scripture gets back, getting back in scripture, it says, their leaves are always green. And so when I see past my now, when I find the blessing, I find that is always good for me. This scripture says their leaves are always green. You know that when it's hot, it'll destroy flowers. It will destroy plants. They need the water to survive. But this says that when I'm rooted, when I'm strong, that I'm planted near a stream that sends out roots to the water. So I'm always getting what I need. It says that the leaves are always green. They never worry. Even in a year that has no rain, they always produce fruit. And so I've got to find the blessing, remembering that I'm blessed, that that blessing has been on my life, that I'm anointed to prosper. Glory to God, that the blessing of God is on my life. So no matter what it looks like, I'm still blessed. I've got to find the blessing. Even when my body does not want to act right, I'm still blessed. I see past my now. I see that by his stripes, I'm already healed. I see that no weapon formed against me can prosper. I see what can I imagine against the Lord that he will bring it to an utter end and that affliction will not rise up the second time. I see that I can lay hands on myself, glory to God, and be healed. So I see past where I am right now and I get into the future. I get into my faith and I don't allow fear. It says their leaves are always green. They never worry. It says they have nothing to fear. So when I have nothing to fear, I'm in faith because I know that I'm protected. Remember the scripture right above that says that I have a spiritual security system. So there is no need to fear when heaven is my security system. And so listen, I got to find the blessing. Let's look at Zacchaeus. You know, Zacchaeus in um, Luke 18. Remember, he was the, um, the IRS of that day. He was the tax collector. He knew that Jesus was coming along, but he had some things, some restrictions that kept him from seeing. When the crowd got around Jesus, Zacchaeus was too short. He couldn't see, but Zacchaeus said, wait a minute, I'm going to find the blessing in this thing that although I'm a prosperous man, there's still something missing, but I'm going to find the blessing that I need. Scripture says that he climbs up this sycamore tree that he may get into the view of Jesus. Zacchaeus is like, I'm going to find this blessing. As you read the account, the account says that Jesus looks up and he says, what are you doing up there? Come on down here. That I need to stay at your house. It says that Zacchaeus is like, whoa. Zacchaeus begins to offer up half of what he has to, to give to the poor. And it says from that salvation came Jesus came came to his house. Zacchaeus did what was needed to find the blessing. He didn't look at his restrictions. He didn't look at his circumstances. What is Pastor G saying to you on this morning? I don't care what you're facing. Don't look at the restriction that the world has placed on you. Don't look at your circumstances. You might not have to climb 
a sycamore tree, but you have to do something to find the blessing in your situation. You know what I like to say? You got to switch your brain. Don't transform the, your thinking into what the world is saying or what the world has said about your situation, but switch your brain that it may be acceptable, pleasing, and perfect of God, that you may renew your mind, that you may realize that no matter what I'm going through, that I'm blessed. So I'm going to find the blessing in this situation. Medical science may say that I'm sick, but I'm still alive. Medical science may have given me a death sentence, but I'm still here. Medical science may say that there is no cure for it, but there is a God, hallelujah, who is the author and finisher of my faith. And just like they couldn't take Jesus' life, it can't take your life either. The world may say, your bank account may say that you don't have enough money, but if you know that you've been tied, then you got to find the blessing. Look, it may not look like I don't have enough, but I still got a home. It may not look like I don't have enough, but nothing has been disconnected. It may not look like I don't have enough, but nothing has been, you know, turned off. It may not look like I don't have enough, but nothing has been repossessed. You've got to find the blessing in what it is that you're dealing with. You've got to understand that you are blessed no matter what is going on in your life and understanding who God is, understanding that what you do as a believer is that you trust God. You know, God doesn't ask us to do much. All he asks us to do is to trust and believe. He doesn't ever ask us to figure it out because what he tells us is, I got that. He doesn't ask us to go ahead of him. No, he says, I'm going ahead before you. He doesn't ask us to, you know, he doesn't ask us to do much. He asks us to trust and believe. See past your nail and find the blessing. Amen. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Find the blessing part two. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your um, dosages. I was getting ready to say blessings. There you can, but well, it is a blessing. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole. And I am, again, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, a.k.a. the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there. Have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And again, thank you so much for all of to all of the women who jumped on Zoom last night. Man, 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 we had a great time. I am still reading some of the text messages, some of the messenger messages and the emails that you guys sent after the Zoom call. I'm so appreciative of your support and so excited that you all got much out of last night and that you are applying those principles. You are uh, moving forward, that the testimonies that went forth inspired you to do more and to be your best you, to be your best self. Again, thanks to Elder Carolyn for co-hosting with me on last night. Again, look, last closing. I love you guys a bunch. Yes, 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 Heartbeat Yolanda. We had an amazing time. Heartbeat Mary, what a time we had. So ladies, you don't want to miss the next one. The next one in the month of June, you don't want to miss it. You need to get on Zoom with us at 7 o'clock, 4th Monday. Amen? For real, last close. <laughs> yes, right, Heartbeat Elaine. Wow. For real, last closing. I love you guys a bunch, and I will see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. with bells and whistles on and a fresh dosage for you. Spec wild amazing day. I love you guys a bunch. Look out for those falling blessings and find the blessing. It's there because you are anointed to prosper. You are blessed. I love you too, Heartbeat Aaliyah.